Hey, what is up everyone and have a great week as well. It's the 1st September now and it's been a really bad week this time because I was sick all the week long. I had COVID, I got it I believe just last week and all this week I was really in bad shape. Even today I'm not really that well, I'm still having some of the leftovers. I'm not positive anymore but still it's, it's hard. It's hard to be sick, it takes all your energy out and I had to cancel everything this week, so I canceled the groups. I have groups on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. <clears throat> I had to cancel them all, and I couldn't really work that much or even focus on my academic assignments that I had to do. So everything had to be pushed out of the way. I also plan to do this week uh, the recordings, the last recordings for the songs of my show. Um, if you don't know, I created a show for kids that has an empowerment element to it so I take them through the the show which has a lot of different aspects and giving them confidence and social skills and stuff like that so one of those aspects is creating songs and songs are each of them has a psychological aspect to them to help children develop so that had to be also delayed for Monday of the next week and I'm really looking forward to it because it's probably going to be very um, very big. It's going to be the next big thing I'm going to do after the instructor course that is going to be the current big thing that's going to happen. Let me give you a rundown of what has been done in the last week. So I continued the group and it's already on 420 people or so and it's a really good uh, feedback. People want to hear what I have to say. Uh, I don't really use the platform that much right now, especially this week because I was sick, but I'm looking forward to what I can do with it and accomplish. And that's about it. One thing that really got my mind this week is, is last day I, I talked with my employee and we talked about how we want to grow the business right now because those nine groups that we try to develop now, if we reach the full potential of them, it's still not enough profit for us to live by and to continue growing this business. So what we thought about is maybe to include some business clients that are B2B, so business to business. We help other businesses to give them the ways to work with children and how to develop their, uh, let's call it social presence and their method and all those stuff to give them the best solution so they can make more money and we can have a retainer from that so i'm not quite sure about how it's going to happen how many clients we want what are they going to pay but as of now i'm starting to get the understanding that i can't only focus on the groups and birthdays that i found them is going to be a main subject right now that we're going to do a birthday event each week for a client and that will be around two to three thousand shekels per per event. I starting to understand that this is not a recurring revenue. It's not really going to help us grow that much. So maybe I have to put that on a hold and focus more on the business clients that can pay 5k per month in shekels. And that retainer can help us really get to the next level. I'm wondering what's the next step for me. I'm not sure. What I'm realizing now is that a lot of my energy is going for this addiction for the screen. So I'm scrolling down on videos and it's really taking so much time, so much focus for me that I looked back today and I thought to myself, well, if before the COVID hit, not now that I'm sick, I'm talking in, back in 2020, I didn't have this addiction that because I have yet to be exposed to the idea of infinite scrolling, <clears throat> that it's just algorithmic based. So I'm scrolling and scrolling and I don't know what's going to happen next. This also brought up a lot of, I believe, issues with me that I starting now to understand I have to push back and be less focused on. And I'm, I'm, I'm starting to really think about it, maybe this is the main thing if I can take out of my life, let's be more drastic now. Take out of my life, it can really give me the lifestyle that I want. I'm not sure how it's gonna happen, if, if it's gonna happen, how, when, but for certain, this is the most problematic behavior that I'm 
having right now. And if I can completely remove right now the time that I spent on screens and use that just for work, you know, basic stuff, that will progress our business so much. And I think that's something that I really need to figure out. I'll, I'll think about it this week, really. Because I talked about it also last time and I realized I haven't really progressed. Well, I was sick all week, but still, I need to find a way out of this mess. One more thing that happened was I saw again, because I've seen it before, a clip from Mr. Beast. If you don't know Mr. Beast, is the most popular YouTuber, I think, as of now, which it's an amazing channel that is just about having entertainment. And he said something in one of the podcasts that he participated in. He said, my mission is to make the best videos possible. And when he said that, I realized something. That's all he's doing. That's the main vision, to make the best videos possible. And I've tried to think about myself. Well, do I, do I have this one-liner of what I'm trying to make? That is the one thing I'm trying to be the best in the world at? And it's really difficult because there are so many aspects to it. So my mission is to make the best uh, caregivers for children, whether that be instructors or parents. It's the best caregivers in the world, to, to make the best caregivers in the world. But that's not correct mostly because that's just part of the business. I also have this mission to make children more empowered. So maybe that's the main focus. And I also have the videos that I make for my experience with children to help people reach out. And, and I guess I also have this make the best videos possible for me to show people how to work with children because that's the main flow of new clients to my business. They see those videos and they want to take part of it. So. I guess I'm still having the same issue <clears throat> all around. Same thing with the scrolling, same thing with what I just said. I'm lacking clarity. And when I find that clarity, this, this laser focus that's gonna take me to my goals, I think I'll really reach my potential. And I guess that one of the reasons it's so difficult for me is because I have so many different plates on my plate. So I have the, uh, the degree, the master's degree that I'm currently have two assignments to do and that are due this week. I have the business on my hand. I have a, a family to, to build, right? A house to take under control. And I have myself that I need to also develop and have my needs. And I think that all those things together eventually made me realize, well, I'm having difficulty when I don't have enough clarity and singularity, which is just one thing I'm going to focus on and other things just mash together. I wonder what I'm missing here. Maybe I'll come also with that uh, understanding over the next week. And that's about it for this week. It, was, it wasn't really productive because I was sick, but hopefully next week what I'm going to focus on is to, first of all, finish the assignments that I have to finish, I finish the the stuff I have to do in my business, uh, cleaning the house, I mean, dishes here looks awful. I'm just gonna show you, I'm here in the kitchen. But I think that in general, I'm trying to, first of all, clean my, clean my life better. So finish the, the assignments, clean the house, getting things in order will really help me to progress on. And then I'm gonna focus on creating a video because I haven't done it in a, in a long time. Uh, really the last two weeks haven't been with the video. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to start focusing on how do I make the best instructor course as possible. Because that will be the next main thing that I'm going to push from now September all the way out to March, which is half a year from now. It's not a lot. In half a year I have to make the best course possible so the participants will achieve so much value and then it will progress for a, month, for a yearly course that each time we have so many participants in it. So it's just gonna grow and grow and grow. That's the, that's the entire model. So I'm gonna focus on that this week and, and I'm gonna share with you what's happened in that week, in the next week. So until then, see you later. Train hard, train smart and peace.